Well, I don't know. It appears that I, I might have blown it up. I can't seem to get it to do anything. I've rechecked all of my connections and all that kind of stuff. And the connection breakdown means something is not hooked up between the charger and the battery. I may have blown it up. So I guess what I'm going to do next, since I can't really do anything from here, I can't even charge that pack. I guess really the only thing I can do is take it apart and see if we can find anything wrong with it. Yeah, that's, that's pretty much all I got. I mean, I can't, can't do nothing. Still, connection breakdown. Alright, so we're gonna take this sucker apart. Alright, we need some really tiny, really tiny Allen head screws. Yeah. I am definitely not looking through all that. Oh, oh wait, I did see a tiny one. Nope, she gone. Yeah. So it's a 564, or at least that's what kind of fits it. you look very carefully that first capacitor it's a little swollen can you see that and if you look at the capacitor behind it you might not be able to see very well that one's a little swollen back there too and it looks like it might have oozed a little bit but it looks like that first one might have oozed a little bit too all right well that looks like an easy fix at least so far we'll pull it all the way apart and see if there's anything else wrong with it Warning, never use this charger unsupervised. Now, does that count for me? Oh shit, hell yeah. Let me let me pull this lid off here and then I'll show you. <laughs> Damn. Boom! You guys never saw that coming, right? Look at that thing. We got like a little side explosion or swollenness right here, but it's definitely swollen and leaking out the top. And of course that guy right there, he's swollen and leaking out of the top as well. The other two capacitors down here appear to be fine. So hopefully it's just those, but I am going to pull off this big heat sink and take a look behind there to make sure nothing else is broken. Definite thermal paste there, which we're going to change that. Now, I believe these thermal pads are on there, of course, one to dissipate. Oh, f it looks like a trace or something is burnt out right there, so I don't know if I can fix that. I mean, I'm, I'm sure I could rig something up. We'll have to take a look. I mean, I just noticed that as I was talking about these thermal pads. These thermal pads have to be on there because it insulates the back of these to the rest of the ground system. So make sure you keep these on if you do take this apart. I don't see much else wrong with it, really, other than the two capacitors and that trace that's blown out right there, or at least highly discolored. Hey, check that out for me. See what that is. Look at this. Look at that crazy isn't it watch out dude you're in the way yeah and that has got some stuff on it so you don't want that on your little paws now do you so what i'm gonna do first is clean off this trace with some alcohol and see if it goes anywhere else because i think i can at least repair that hi bud i don't know if it's blown out all the way or not so we'll clean it up real quick and take a look whoa too much definitely don't need that much 
All right, well, by the looks of it, it doesn't look like it is burned all the way through or disappeared. It's just really discolored on the top. So if I do anything, I might beef it up just a little bit, but I don't know yet. I might as well for the hell of it, right? Well, that didn't go very well now, did it? what I get, like three and a half runs out of that thing? You guys didn't see that coming, right? Yeah, I kind of figured it may or may not happen, but I wanted to give it a try for sure. All right, so I think what I'm gonna do is attempt to fix it. I'm gonna find some random capacitors off some other circuit boards that I have, or I'm gonna check my little bins over here and see if I can fix it. I just didn't wanna spend really any money into fixing it, so I'm gonna attempt to fix it with some used capacitors, just in case, you know, there's something else wrong with it that I just can't see right unless 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 one of you guys have a 1000 and a 220 microfarad capacitor laying around that's brand spanking new and i would like to at least up the voltage maybe up to like 100 i think that should take care of it if anybody does have any send them to the address down below in the meantime i will start repairing it i'll probably replace i'll probably replace the cap capacitors I'll probably re are you just scaring the crap out of yourself or what dude I'll I'll probably replace the cat the capacitors I have a cat down here so I want to say cat capacitors I'll probably replace the cat capacitors I'll probably replace the capacitors first and then I'll either beef up that trace or maybe I'll just run a smaller wire from the little mini capacitor over to the other spot wherever it goes. If I can fix it, it's going to be an awesome charger because I have lots of projects I do want to do with this charger. So hopefully the capacitors and that little trace will fix it. All right. So yeah, I don't know. I don't know what else to tell you, but other than that, blew up the charger. Who didn't see that coming? Yeah, so I'll start working on that. Uh, that'll be just the next video or two. The next thing I'm gonna do is pull out that green Fukushima, Fukushima, Fukushima cell and replace that fuse. I am gonna do a capacity check on it as well and I might as well do a internal resistance check for the hell of it too because I know somebody will probably ask. Uh, that'll be next and I'll see you on the next one. Oh, one other thing I would like to tell you is Junior, the one that makes all the t-shirts, he is in the process of moving. So his t-shirt machine is down and all that kind of fun stuff. So I had to find another place for my t-shirts, which actually Junior told me about. He put some on Amazon and he said it wasn't too hard to do, so I figured I would give it a try as well. So now the Average Joe shirts are on Amazon. They will be shipped, well, I guess probably anywhere in the world for the most part. Part. And I did lower the price to $19.99 and I think if you have a purchase over $25 It's free shipping after that. So unless you have prime, maybe it's free prime. I don't know So yeah, I, I really only make like a dollar off of those t-shirts So it's not a lot the only reason I make so little is because of course they do all the work and you have to pay for the, the Logo or whatever and it costs extra to put the um right on the back and you know, that's my tagline So I have to throw it on there and I don't really care. I, I make like a dollar It's it's not much at all, but if you do want a t-shirt click on the link below. It'll be shipped wherever probably and also there's Horace. And also, Junior, since his t-shirt machine is down, I don't know if he's gonna be putting that back up or not, but the certified, can you see that? The certified Powerwall Builder t-shirt. And it says Powerwall Builder right on the back. Is on Amazon as, <laughs> so I cleaned off the ceiling fan down here and it's on. Uh, Horace has never ever seen that fan on, so. <laughs> He just keeps running back and forth because he's kind of scared of it. So I just thought I'd throw that in there real quick because it's hilarious seeing a cat just take off. Well, you know, I'm a cat person. What can I say? What was I saying? So yeah, the certified Powerwall Builder shirt from Junior is on Amazon as well. And I think they're $24.99 or $25.99. And if anybody wants one of those, you can click on the link down below. Also, it is an affiliate link. It doesn't cost you anything extra, but what it does do, it gives me a tiny kickback, which is not much at all. And it helps support the channel. So if you want a shirt, click on the link below. Focus. All right, so that's all I got this time. And we'll see you on the next one and see if it goes watch out dude let me finish saying this 
stay over there. I don't know if it's actually blown out all the way or if it's just... Keep it moving. Keep going. You're in the way. Again. In the, in the way. In the way. Um, so... It is... Well... Oh, sh And... Oh, it looks like I can just maybe... Can you see what I see? Um, if the... Eh, or I'll read. And then, uh, 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 the certified, um, uh, I am gonna do a capacitor, capacitor check. 